What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual back with another bang of the day, guys, on this special unboxing. Now, before we get into this video, I need to take this off. It's time to unveil forehead shoddy. Ah. Woo, look at that. I think I'm dizzy, boy. I just got this thing retwisted, man. Look at that. That, that this, this thing is it's looking crazy. Let me let me get my hair right, because too much hair going on. All right, guys. So we finally got everything looking right, you know. I, I'm not a fan of the crinkliness, crinkliness, but it'll do for the end of the day. And it is what it is. We got a special unboxing though in today from a very special brand on some new sneakers that have finally hit the scene. And I've actually seen pictures of these for quite some time. And I actually have reviewed a pair. This is a newer model of this pair, so I'm looking forward to seeing how these are aesthetically in hand and on foot. So today, guys, we got the Puma Liquid Cell Shear. Off the rip, I've seen this shoe floating around the internet for quite some time. It released on July 18th, and overall, it's something that you may never have seen me pull out. It's the colors, everything about the shoe is different. It has a lot of futuristic vibes to it, but also some modern vibes to it. I like the shoe a lot. It retails at $110, which is a very, very nice budget price. The colors are probably the biggest thing that pop about the shoe. But now they brought you like a more mid to low cut version of this. They actually moved some of this chunk to the forefront right here also. So you have a lot of cushioning going out this whole entire shoe. And this is also a lot of pro foam. I think they call it pro foam. And you had that as well as that hexagon cell in the shoe. So you have a lot of comfort going on in the shoe. The upper is like of a plastic mesh. So it's very lightweight. It's also translucent so you can see through there. If you got black socks, white socks, it kind of can change the type of shoe and the color with it. You have a little bit of branding with the Puma here. You have Puma also on the tongue in actual wording. And then the classic Puma stripe right there. I like that a lot. The colors... The highlightedness to it is a very popping summer shoe. It might not be for everybody, but honestly, I actually tried these on in the middle of, you know, reviewing the shoe. I like stopped the camera real quick between the cuts and put them on. They look good. They don't look as good in hand maybe to some of you guys, but when you see the on feet part, it looks good. They feel comfortable and for $110, it's dope. I like the original shoe. The only thing that threw me off was the tongue and how big it was and how much it stuck out. But with this one, they kind of limited that and brought it back down and gave you that sock liner type of feel of a shoe. Sock liner or the inner booty, that's what they called it, B-O-O-T-I-E, not like, you know, we're not talking, get your minds out the gutter. But I like that fit and how this shoe looks compared to its, I guess you would call it the predecessor, the shoe before. It looks dope. The colors are different, but that shape and everything about this one, way, way better. It's definitely an upgrade. Puma has been on their thing when it's coming to fashion and moving forward, the chunky dad type of shoe and everything about it. And this is just another iteration, I would say, another version of something that them going forward and moving and constantly trying to improve on. And I'm all for it. For the $110 retail price point, you really can't go wrong. I am looking forward to other colorways that can suit more people, whether it's just a black version of this shoe, black and white, white and black, or white and red. This is something different because this may throw a lot of people off for people like me who can rock pretty much any color, I'm all good for it. But everybody that might not have every single one of these colors in their collection, it may kind of like say, I like that shoe, but the colorway is a little bit too much. But overall, I'm really digging this shoe. That's just my opinion. It might not be for everybody, but that's just me. I've always been the type that goes and likes to go the distance with type of things. A really nice summer shoe and something that you can definitely pop off with if you're looking for a nice budget shoe at $110. Once again, phenomenal. I will link down below in the description where you can cop the shoe at from Puma right now because it's available. It did drop on July 18th, so it's available now. And you guys can see for yourself. Go and check it out. The sizing on here, this shoe in particular, is eight and a half. It's a very big looking shoe. It looks big, right? Like it looks like this could be a nine and a half, nine, but it fits me perfectly fine as an eight and a half. Now, keep that in mind when going. You may see the shoe and think it looked big, but when you put it on the foot, it's gonna, it's gonna remain true to size. And as stated, real quick, the midsole, pro foam, tail in the back, tail right here, little in the front, right here in the forefront. Whole upper has a nice, soft, say like a mesh. It's like mesh, but it's like plastic mesh. Or some type of, I don't know what this material is, but there's a mesh, and then on top of the mesh, there's some, a layer of 
like plastic, I don't know, but it feels very, very breathable. And then on the back tab, you got that right there. You also got like a plastic, this is a thick plastic Puma Strike. So overall, very, very lightweight shoe. I'm digging it. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. I'm gonna end it off with the on foot, but I'm also have some on foot, you know, throughout the video. But let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions. Are you messing with the shoe? Are you not? You shot the Puma. And I love you guys for all the love and support. As always, it's your boy Tony D2Wild. I'm checking in. I'm checking out.